Okay. I have this deck. I have many decks, many decks, and uh, that I have not reviewed or done a walkthrough with. Um, and I went to my stash and I looked it over. I said, oh, there's a lot here. So I decided, I picked one and I'm going to show it to you. It's a beauty and uh, it's the, the Polish tarot. Very, very, very colorful. And um, my artwork, I, I do uh, paint a lot of things and um, for several years I painted cats. Um, and very um, pattern on pattern, sort of like Laurel Birch, but uh, she does more geometric angles. I, mine was all curly cues and curves and dots and uh, very, very colorful. So I was drawn to that this deck for that reason. It's pattern on pattern, and uh, for me, I think it's a beautiful deck. It's the Polish tarot, the Polski tarot. So uh, I assume it's um, by, a Polish per by a Polish person. Um, yes, um, Alexandri um, Jesniak, manufactured in Krakow. So it is actually Polish deck. Uh, so we're just going to go through it real fast. You'll see the color. It just I, I think it's really quite, quite beautiful. Um, it is a pep deck, pip deck. That's one reason why it may not be terribly popular, but oh, let's go through it. The Fool. The Magician. I love all this, this stuff that's on it, you know, all these lines, these circles, and there's all this, it's over the top, but I really find it intriguing. The High Priestess. And then you have your, um, your, your Polish words underneath, and they are numbered. The Empress. What a great idea with the egg there. The backs are like, I've seen these backs online. I, I'm pretty sure I got this on Amazon. It was a while ago. The Emperor. The Hierophant. What a computer, pretty colors. I love purple and orange together. That's, that's a great one. The lovers. It's got a Peter J. Ma a Peter Max look to it from the sixties, seventies. The chariot. The strength is eight. It's a man. The hermit. Look at all those great colors. Wheel of Fortune. It's an interesting picture of a person. Doesn't look too happy there. Justice. What a beautiful, another beautiful card with the purples. The Hangman. I think the Hangman, is that a man or a woman? I don't know. Could be either. The Hangman. Death. Temperance, how pretty is that? The devil. 666, I'm not sure if that was on purpose or not. The tower. The star. The moon. Judgment. No, whoop, no, the moon. The star, the sun. Jeez, can't even read. Sun, the sun. Judgment. And the world. 
I absolutely love this. Um, again, it's it's very pattern on pattern. Now the um, the miners are pips, so but they're still very colorful. Cups, one, uh, ace, two of cups, three of cups, four of cups, five of cups, six of cups, seven of cups, eight of cups, the nine. And the 10. Then we have our court cards. They're quite colorful. The Page of Cups. The Knight of Cups. The Queen of Cups. And the King of Cups. That's a beauty. We have your Ace of Swords. Swords are pointing downward. I'm not sure what that means, but it's kind of interesting. Uh, two of swords. The three of swords pointing down and up. The four of swords. The five of swords. The six of swords. The seven of swords. It's an interesting layout. The Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. We have the Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Swords. I don't know when this deck was, I, the writing is so small on here, I can't. I'm sort of wondering what year this was made. It doesn't say. There's no. There is. That's why. I'm just curious about the year. If it says the year. Yeah. There's a website, Krakow.com. Anyways, um, I'm just kind of curious, because it does have very much of a, um, a 60s, 70s vibe, but I don't think it's that old. It just has that vibe to me. Ace of Wands. The Two of Wands. The Three of Wands. The Four of Wands. The Five of Wands, the Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Now we go into your court cards, the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Wands. And last but not least, my earth suit. I'm an earth sign. I seem to gravitate towards the pentacles. Whenever I pull cards, there are always pentacles on them. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. I like that. Again, they're all designed on the center, and they all change the inside. It's, well, that's the same, but there's some changes. Oh, here's the sun. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. So that's kind of nice, how they change the uh, actual face of the coin or the pentacle. The Ten of Pentacles. And here's the page of pentacles. You know, now that I'm thinking about this, this here, um, it'd be kind of cool if you put symbols on the cards rather than, I mean, if you had a pip deck, but you had symbols on there, 
sort of symbols that are um, communal sort of archetypes. That'd be kind of cool if every suit, if every suit had its own kind of symbols on there rather than, you know, with the writer weight has the, um, the scenes. I'm wondering if like symbols would really work well with a tarot deck. If anyone's going to design one, keep that in mind. Page of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. His head is buried in this design. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So uh, the card, uh, they're kind of long and skinny. They're very nice cards. Sort of, uh, they're not quite a mat, but they're very uh, smooth and I wouldn't say they're, they're sort of a satin color. And uh, let's see how they shuffle. Oh, they shuffle beautifully. Oh, yeah. That's a ticket. Very nice shuffle. Very, very nice. Very easy to shuffle. I'm pull them out and see what they look like. Let's pull a couple out and see if, how many I can get on the screen. That's good. It's interesting with the cards, um, you know, how they look when they're spread out is part of the magic as well, I think. It's sort of fun to look at them when they're spread out and spread, you know, spread out. Spread out and spreads. Uh, I think we got enough space for two more. Yeah, I think we can do two, almost two. Let's just do this one over here a little bit. And we'll do a couple more. One more row. That's how you get your, uh, get to see the cards in all their glory. So as I said, it's very pattern on pattern. Um, the colors are very deep, very saturated, which I also like. I do like, uh, I'm, I prefer a um, jewel tone. This does have jewel tones, but also has primary colors. So that, look at that. How beautiful is that? And then if you were to do like a nine carter, um, let's do maybe that like this. And you'll be able to see everything. Let's do that. Not sure how much you're getting in the screen there, but so that is the Polish Tarot. Beautiful deck, also known as the Polaski Polski Tarot. Um, a beautiful deck, pip deck, but so colorful, so colorful. It's a beauty. Have a great day.